What's up guys, I'm Aaron with Pop Rap TV and we're here with Ross, the director of Range 15 at the world premiere. Now Ross, how does it feel to be part of such a huge project that is making such huge headlines as being the, the world's uh, most heavily decorated military film ever? Oh man, that, 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 was a, that was a bold intro you just gave me. That was a lot. I, I appreciate intros like that. I need that in my house. Uh, the most bold and done. That feels good. It feels strong. Yeah. I feel like I could run through the jungle and shoot shit. Like, that's how good I feel about that. Yeah. So, how do, how do you feel being on? Uh, right? Are you kidding? Like, after that pep talk, I feel like I could jump through a fucking mountain. Uh, I, feel, I, feel really, I feel really good. Uh, let's it's, find it's, a mountain. I know. Let's, let's, find the, let's find the goddamn mountains around here. We're the Hollywood Hills. I'll run through the mountain. No, it, it was an amazing experience. Like to work with the troops and uh, uh, and to do something to give back. Like it's it's incredible. When they approached you with this film, what was the first thing that went through your mind? What's up? Well, when you when they approached you with this film and this script, what, what was the what were the things going with this idea? What was the first things that went through your mind? Holy shit, um, I'm gonna work with Marcus Luttrell. Uh, and when I got to meet Marcus Luttrell, the actual lone survivor, and he shook my hand, I could it was so strong, I felt it in my groin. And I was like, oh fuck. Like, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep up with these guys. Like, this is gonna be a little intense. Um, but once that settled down, and I got to know the guys, like, everybody was really cool. And uh, it, it, I, I think the, knowing veterans, like get a better understanding of veterans and uh, what their sense of humor is like and, and what they, they, they like uh, as far as comedy was probably my favorite part of it. So yeah, it was cool. It was really cool. It's been, yeah, probably one of the best experiences I've ever had like as a filmmaker. Dead serious. They were always on time. They were professional. They were great. It was, it was awesome. Nobody was on drugs. Nobody was fucked up. Like, yeah. That's a great start yeah. on set. Look at the movie, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, Jesus Christ. Like, it was terrible. It was like 2002, oh yeah. Hammered, sh set shut down, yeah, 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 yeah. Was so what was one of your favorite moments that kind of, that really did hit home that you're excited for people to see and just to get? Man, I, this movie is so, it's probably the most un-PC movie ever made. I'm anxious for people to see the movie and get their perspective on what they think military humor was, because I don't think they were expecting this. This is real fucked up. Am I allowed to say that? I can say that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I am. You can bleep it out later. It's not like we're live. We're not live. Yeah. Um, the, the humor is, is so crazy that I, I'm curious as to what a general audience would think of it. I'm dead serious. Uh, yeah. so it's kind of like Deadpool meets Sharknado. No, more, more than that. Because, look, the movie's self-aware, so they're self-aware about the zombies and themselves and everything else. Um, but I would say it is the military version of Super Troopers. So uh, that'd be my best description of it. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, there you have it. Uh, I'm Aaron with Pop Rad TV.